uh, readymateproject.com. This project e-commerce application is developed in ASP.NET C Sharp SQL Server. You can configure this project in uh, SQL Server 2014 or higher, and you can use Visual Studio 2015 or any higher version. Okay, so first we'll uh, once you buy this project, you will get this database script file, then this uh, source code file, and installation guide, project report, and synopsis. So first we will configure database. Okay, so for database, we will start first. Uh, SQL Server 2014 Management Studio. So Management Studio. Once uh, it is open, we'll use this file, DBScript file, to create our database. So you can copy this path. To start the SQL Server. Once you start, you just click on Connect. Now we will get all the database. You have to create a new database. So you can give any database name. It is already there. I will delete it and give it to you. Now I will create the new database. With the database name. And click on OK. So it will create one new database. You have to right click and new query. Then go file and open file. So to open that DB script file, paste the path I have already copied. This one, DB script file. In this script file, all the create table, then default sample data all are there. So you have to just click on exit. So you can create all table with sample record. Okay. So once it is done, you have to just configure your project. So this is a source code folder. Again, same, you have to copy this path and go to your Visual Studio, whichever version you have, like 2015, 17, 19, whatever you have. So you use 2017, community edition. Now you have to click on file, then open website. Paste the path here. So once project opened in your Visual Studio ID, so you have to just change one config setting. This one. Here you have to change your database uh, source name, means database name, and database name and data source name. So why do you get the data source name? You have to just click, you can check in your system, like click on properties, you will get this name. So you have to just copy here. And paste it. I give the database some e commerce, so there is no need of change. If you change this, then you have to edit it. And then you save this file. Now set default as a startup page. So the start page. Okay. Now once you've done the coding all are there, so you can just check that coding also. 
ખૂબ જ ઓપ્યુલર મશીન સપોઝ one user want to order so first you have to register in system so click on register give the name of that uh, particular uh, say one you get password is given display name address number city name state maharashtra and click on submit so registration is successful so whatever email id you have uh, given in that registration you have to use that and password whatever you give so, so your registration and you have logged in so now what now you can buy such so i want to buy a camera so i will give five camera and go search so camera this can i want to buy this camera so i will have to cut how many camera i want i want to one submit so one product is added my cart now i want to add another product what which product i want i want say mm, memory card yeah i want this one digital hd card so i'll say add to cart and i want two pieces of this submit so now two product is added in my cart one is camera and one is two card so now i can do check out i can click check out when this address is coming from my this account and card number i can give the card number and so the series the number expiry date so once i click on it will generate one number transaction id one you okay so admin can view that uh, this transaction okay this is the payment id suppose admin want to add a new product how will do so for that you have to click on add new this is the admin login admin login is admin user id and password is one so finish login so this is the admin users okay like users is okay then vendor who is the supplier of the product okay now this is the product so i want to add a new product so i want to add a mobile phone category so category is coming from back end table so suppose you want to add a new category so there is a table all category master product category category master so i will add one product here so now if i refresh it so i will get another category mobile phone so then the vendor is an apple computer for that man price how much is the price so i will say 30 and tax will be 2500 product image product image actually what you have to create one image file and you have to paste the product image folder so i will do i'll i'll just create one download one image file 
I show you how to do this. So, so I show you. Let's see. This is the image folder path. The source folder there is a called product image. So if you just you have to add this, save this image in this folder, product image folder. So I'll give this. Let's see the J J P G. Copy this in one, two, in one, save. Now you have to just. In next time when any user want to buy this phone, so he can see that product image, or you can add uh, whatever. Then, 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 uh, so new product is added. This is the last page that icon actually is coming. Okay, now how this product can be visible? So again, you have to just go to that page. Okay, the, now this new product is automatic coming. Okay, so you have added an iPhone just there. Right? So if anybody want to search this, like say iPhone, and go, you know, it is coming. So we can add a new start. Okay, so this is the product. It, it has the admin section. He can check and he can add a new product and new vendor and customer can browse search ad product and he can buy his uh, whatever he wants from the site it is a sp.net project and sql server project you will get all the files once you buy this uh, this is the files you will get 